we're now entering a no spin zone. It's, nine, it's January 19th, 9 o'clock on the East Coast. We are very lucky this evening. We have two important guests. President of the United States, Andrew Jackson, and John Caldwell Calhoun, statesman and former vice president. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Hello there, Dane. Nice to be on the factor. My pleasure, Mr. President. Well, we at the Factor and all of America want to know, what is your view on nullification? Well, I am completely against the idea of nullification. I have no idea why my Vice President would want to have the ability, ability to nullify what I say should be. Silence, you old rag! Ah, this is John C. Calhoun calling from Skippy's Waffle Diner on 5th. If it's waffles you're looking for, that's the place to go. So, Mr. Calhoun, you seem to think very differently than your former mate. Correct, Dane. What views do you have on this nullification issue? I feel that nullification is necessary for this nation to thrive, just as long as judges don't take advantage of this power. Let's say that Congress passes a law stating that if, after four years of marriage, you don't have a child, you must adopt a pig and raise him as if he were a true human. Now that's preposterous. Pigs are filthy animals. Chickens make fine, loyal children. Why are we getting off the subject, gentlemen? We'll be right back on the subject after a few words from our sponsors. slaves leaving the seeds in them cottons? Doesn't the fact that they leave the seeds in that cotton make you want to whip the devil out of them? No more, for Eli Whitney has created the cotton gin. Throw away those pesky combs and purchase one of these fine machines. Welcome back to the factor. If you're just tuning in now, Jackson and Calhoun are continuing their argument about farm animals. So Mr. Jackson, how do you feel about losing to your vice president? Mortified, Dane. So very, very mortified. Stop being melodramatic, Jackson. You've had no idea how to run this country from the very beginning, and you know it. Oh, come over there and beat you if you don't shut that hole in that train wreck of skin that you call a face. Quiet, you cat! Ah! We'll be back with the most ridiculous item of the day after these messages. Ever since they came out with these new confangled tin cans, I've never been able to open my tin cans! I hate you! Isn't it rich? Aren't we a pair? Me here at last on the ground, you in it sending the clown. Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? One who keeps tearing around. One who can move Where are the clowns Sending the clowns Just when I start Opening doors Finally knowing the one girl Walking with yours Making my entrance again Sure of my lines, no one 
Don't you love us? My fault, I feel. I thought that you'd want what I want. Sorry, my dear. But there are the clowns. Quick, send in the clowns. No more, madame. Introducing the greatest thingamajigger since the Hooba Watson of 1803. Introducing Ezra Warner's can opener. Can opener? Would it sweep the walkway? No! Would it fix my Dugan and Dershowitz phonograph cylinder? No! It will open you your can of distilled peaches faster than a cat in a dog pound. Wow! That's wonderful! But I think we all want to know. How much does this amazing product cost? Only five seventy-three. And if you tell your store clerk about this ad, you get a do one dollar discount. Oh, huzzah to you, Mr. Warner. You are a true genius. To purchase the can opener, go to Zizius's down by the creek near the National... And we're back with the most ridiculous end of the day. Seems that Hooligans disguised a pig as President Jackson. And the pig charged $179 to a tab at Fezziwig's pub. That's the most ridiculous item of the day. Thanks for watching The Factory. You are now leaving a no-spin zone.